हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सस्मिता धर वेलकम यू ऑल टू साई इकोनॉमिक्स मॉन्ट इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज वांट एंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ वांट्स ओके सो लेट एस स्टार्ट इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू डिफाइन ह्यूमन वांट्स विद इन फ्यू वर्ड्स Within some few minutes, it is very difficult to describe what is one because all economic problems are related to money. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of all, let us understand what is one. Okay, so first of the desire for change increasing knowledge human progress have led to emergence and growth of more and more wants thus wants have been increasing because of the addition of more and more wants is also because of a rise in population and new inventions discoveries therefore human wants are ever growing and it is never ending therefore wants are like waves in the sea okay hence what are the reasons that is um, that's why human wants is never ending first one desire for better living due to introduction of uh, new things new technologies second one rise in population growth let us discuss the classification of uh, wants okay wants may be economic want non economic want individual want collective want necessities comforts and luxuries so let us discuss one by one first one economic want okay the desire for economic good economic good means scarce in nature that means the material goods and services is called economic want okay why it is economic good because it commands a price in the market or you can say it has exchange value okay it cost money to satisfy them for example uh clothing cars house food sports equipment hair cuts jewelries furnitures okay to satisfy these wants a consumer has to spend money okay so these are these wants are known as the economic wants okay then next non economic wants the wants which cannot be satisfied by making monetary payments for them are known as non economic want okay that means desire for something that can be obtained without spending money it does not cost money okay for example we want love and affection of our parents we or relatives neighbors from friends okay we want a stable government we also want international peace yeah we want universal brotherhood okay to satisfy these wants there is no need to spend money okay say these wants are known as non economic wants then next one individual want okay individual want or personal wants refers to those wants which are only demanded by a single person or an individual only okay for example demand for jewelries demand for ornaments furnitures hair cuts clothing car whatever the examples we have discussed in economic want this all becomes your individual want okay because this is a person's want this is an individual want okay next collective want ha huh. collective wants means when all the things are wanted by us or collectively we want something that is called collective want for example we all want india to win either in a football match or in a cricket match okay a good and stable government roads hospitals schools okay these are the collective wants or you can say social wants okay then next necessities i think the word itself defines what do you mean by necessities right okay see necessities are primary wants of man 
okay these ones are most essential for the survival of human beings okay and the existence of human life becomes difficult without their satisfaction right and they are further classified into three categories okay number one necessaries for life number two necessaries for efficiency and number three conventional necessaries so let us discuss one by one number one necessaries for life okay see necessaries for life means the things necessary to meet the minimum needs of survival okay and a minimum amount of food clothing shelter constitutes the necessaries for life am i right and without these things the very existence of human being will be just impossible right then next thing we'll discuss necessaries for efficiency okay see man requires something more than necessities of life to maintain strength vigor and efficiency okay or you can say energy and ability to work okay for example nutritious food rich diet sufficient clothing pure water recreational and educational facilities training security for sickness old age are all necessaries to maintain and improve efficiency of a worker or a man right examples see a vehicle for a doctor right and a chair and table for a student a library for a teacher right so this can improve the efficiency of the person concerned that means a car a motor car can increase the efficiency of a doctor and a chair and table increases the efficiency of a student similarly libraries trainings increases the efficiency of a teacher right and these are required to maintain a healthy and vigorous life are you getting my point okay so no doubt we can live without them right but their long absence may decrease our efficiency also okay think about it how okay say a teacher without any books without library okay without training okay so it automatically decreases the efficiency of a teacher right and a student without table and chair may decrease the study hour of a student which automatically lead to decrease in efficiency that means working capacity okay when working capacity reduces automatically what efficiency of a student automatically decreases right then number 3 conventional necessaries okay see conventional necessaries are certain ones which arises either due to pressure of habit or due to compelling social customs and conventions traditions okay these ones are not necessary for life okay nor required to increase efficiency of efficiency of a person but are considered is more important okay see how okay see these are these ones are needed by man merely to satisfy his habit okay for example tobacco tea coffee wine cigarettes okay as these things become habits of a particular person this want cannot be avoided okay so this becomes important for a person this is considered as most important because it cannot be avoided okay see ye hota hai bahut baar aap logon ne suna hoga kuch log aise bolte hain ki ye bhai mera sar dard ho raha hai mujhe ek cup cha de do jaldi jaldi bhai nahi to mera sar phat jayega right so this is nothing but conventional necessaries arises due to habit because they can't avoid it okay so many wants are satisfied due to the force of social customs and conventions traditions okay for example 
ह्यूज एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन मैरिजेस ओके ह्यूज एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन फ्यूनरल सेरेमनीज रिलीजियस फंक्शंस श्रद्धा सेरेमनीज दीज आर कन्वेंशनल नेसेसरीज राइट द नेक्स्ट कम्फर्ट्स ओके सी कम्फर्ट्स एफर्ट्स टूवर्ड्स ए बेटर हैप्पीयर इजी सिंपल एंड प्लेजेंट लाइफ ओके सी नेसेसरीज मेक लाइफ पॉसिबल बट कम्फर्ट्स मेक आवर लाइफ इजी एंड प्लेजेंट ओके कम्फर्ट्स आर यूज टू सेव लेबर बिकॉज दिस आर लेबर सेविंग इक्विपमेंट दिस सेव्स टाइम ओके वेन वी आर यूजिंग कम्फर्ट आइटम्स ओके इट इज लेस टाइम कंज्यूमिंग सो वी कैन सेव टाइम ऑल्सो ओके सो आफ्टर सेटिस्फाइंग आवर वांट्स फॉर नेसेसरीज ऑफ लाइफ वॉट एवर मनी रिमेन्स विथ अस इज स्पेड ऑन कम्फर्ट्स ओके पीपल यूज दिस थिंग्स ऑफ कम्फर्ट टू मेन्टेन देयर स्टैटस इन द सोसाइटी नथिंग एल्स राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल टेस्टफुल एंड न्यूट्रिस् फूड ए वेल फिनिश्ड हाउस क्लोथिंग टू सूट वेरियस अकेजन्स रेडियो टेलीजन मेगाजीन्स ओके सोफा सेट वाशिंग मेसीन ओके दिस आर मेक्स आवर लाइफ कम्फर्टेबल एंड प्लेजेंट ओके एंड दिज आर ऑल्सो यूज टू मेन्टेन आवर स्टैटस इन द सोसाइटी राइट यूज ऑफ वार्म क्लोथ इज इन विंटर फैन इन समर सो दिज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ अ कम्फर्ट्स ओके सो नेक्स्ट थिंग विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कम्फर्ट एंड नेसेसरीज फॉर एफिशिएंसी ओके सो आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग नेसेसरीज एंड नेसेसरीज फॉर लाइफ नेसेसरीज फॉर एफिशिएंसी कन्वेंशनल नेसेसरीज एंड कम्फर्ट्स आई थिंक ए क्वेश्चन मस्ट एराइज इज इन योर माइंड दैट What is the difference between comfort and necessaries for efficiency? Am I right? Is there any question in your mind that what is the difference between comfort and necessaries for efficiency? I think yes, right? So let us start. See, the benefit derived from a comfort is less than the money spent on it. Okay, while the benefit from a necessary of efficiency is much more as compared to the money spent on it. Okay. See how, for example, an electric fan for a college student is necessary for efficiency. It is necessary to increase the working hour of a student. Whereas for a person sleeping in summer, it is just a comfort, not necessary. Okay. Next, luxuries. Luxuries are superfluous things that men need merely for vanity or show. Okay. According to ई लय लग्जरीज इन इट्स अर्डिनरी सेन्स मीन्स एनीथिंग दैट साटिस्फाय ए सुपर फ्लॉस वांट ओके फॉर एग्जांपल यूज ऑफ प्रेस्टिज गुड्स एट होम और यू कैन से ब्रांडेड आइटम्स ब्रांडेड गुड्स ओके डायमंड नेकलेस डायमंड नेकलेस ओके एयर कंडीशन कार बिग बंगलोज एन एरे ऑफ डोमेस्टिक सर्वेन्स कॉस्टली ड्रेस फर्नीचर्स ओके ऑटोमेटिंग वाशिंग मशीन ओके एक्सपेंडिचर्स इनकर्ड फॉर द सेक ऑफ फ्लॉप ऑफ म्यूजिक डांस ड्रामा ओके दीज आर ऑल एग्जांपल्स ऑफ अ लग्जरीज ओके नेक्स्ट थिंग लग्जरीज मे गिव सम एक्स्ट्रा एंजॉयमेंट ओके बट विदाउट देम लाइफ कैन बी इजी ओके कंफर्टेबल एंड प्लेजेंट ऑल्सो राइट एंड लग्जरीज डू नॉट इनक्रीज आवर एफिशियसी टू वर्क right but sometimes they may cause decrease in efficiency <coughs> see how for example no work can be done efficiently and accurately after drinking alcohol am i right okay next thing luxuries can be further divided into two types okay first one harmful luxuries and the second one harmless luxuries okay so फर्स्ट वन उल डिस्कस फर्स्ट वन हार्मफुल लग्जरीज हार्मफुल लग्जरीज आर दूज गुड्स द यूज ऑफ व्हिच इज हार्मफुल फॉर मैन ओके एंड दे आर यूज मे डिक्रीजेस एफिशिएंसी और इट कैन डिस्ट्रॉय आवर हेल्थ आल्सो ओके फॉर एग्जांपल ड्रिंकिंग एंड स्मोकिंग ओके इट विल डिस्ट्रॉय आवर हेल्थ ओके इट इज हार्मफुल 
for health of a person okay the next one harmless luxuries okay harmless luxuries are those goods the use of which neither decreases efficiency nor destroy the health okay of consumers right for example use of prestige goods costly jewelries dress furnitures conditioners these are the harmless luxuries you have to when you are using these uh, things you can maintain you can maintain your you can show your status in the society but it will not harm to you okay those who are using it will not harm to its customers right the classification of goods into necessaries comforts and luxury is not absolute rigid and fixed because they depend on habits taste income place climate person and social environment okay when habits changes time changes taste changes climate changes okay and social environment changes the classification of goods automatically changes okay and we can fix certain things penitently as necessaries comforts or luxuries okay so according to silver man the luxury of today becomes comfort of tomorrow okay and the conventional necessary clay after okay therefore the commodities which were considered luxuries in the past has now become a necessary with the increase in standard of living of the people okay for example use of electricity okay cell phones were luxury in the past okay see before 10 or you can say 15 years ago use of electricity or mobile phones android phones uh, these are considered as luxurious goods okay but nowadays this becomes necessaries right another example woolen shorts okay this may be necessary in england but luxury in india due to the climatic difference right so, therefore what is luxury to one particular class of people may be necessary to another okay example a car is necessary for efficiency of a doctor okay but it is luxury to a farmer in a village right a huge bungalow is a necessary for a minister okay but luxury for a common man for a layman it is luxury okay hence nothing is luxury or a necessary for all time to come right hence necessaries comforts luxuries are relative to time place class of people climate and income okay i hope this video will be very helpful and easy and simple for your better understanding okay if any doubts any clarifications you can write in the comment section okay thank you have a nice day